This protocol is significant because it demonstrates a central brain injury method that triggers adult neurogenesis in Drosophila where there normally is none. We anticipate that using this technique to understand the molecular mechanisms underlying adult neurogenesis will be relevant to human neural regeneration. Learning this technique requires patience and perseverance. We recommend practicing on 5 to 10 brains daily for several weeks before collecting brains for analysis. After anesthetizing the flies on a carbon dioxide pad, sort newly eclosed F1 young male flies within six hours of eclosion and place them in clean vials containing food with 40 or fewer flies per vial. If planning to label dividing cells with EDU, prepare 200 microliters of 50 millimolar EDU in 10% sucrose and place the prepared solution on a 23 millimeter round grade 3 filter paper in an empty vial. Then, place the male flies in the vial for pre-feeding six hours before the injury. Next, sanitize minutian pins by placing approximately 100 pins in a 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube filled with 70% ethanol for five minutes. Then, sanitize the carbon dioxide pad and paintbrush by spraying 70% ethanol and wiping dry with a clean, lint-free tissue. Once the tools are clean and dry, transfer 40 or fewer sorted F1 males onto the clean pad and separate them into two groups. One group will serve as the control uninjured flies, and the second experimental group will be subjected to penetrating traumatic brain injury. Next, using forceps, pull four to five new minutian pins out of the microcentrifuge tube and place them near the...